Exodus chapter 23, verse 25. Benjamin, you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from among you. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 15. The Lord will take away from you all sickness, Benjamin, and he will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which you know, on you, but will lay them on all those who hate you. 1 Samuel chapter 6, verse 3. They said, If you send away the ark of the God of Israel, don't send it empty, but by all means return a trespass offering to him. Then you will be healed, and it will be known to you why his hand is not removed from you. 2 Kings chapter 2, verses 21 and 22. He went out to the spring of the waters, Benjamin, and threw salt into it, and said, the Lord says, I have healed these waters. There shall not be from there any more death or barren wasteland. So the waters were healed to this day, Benjamin, according to Elisha's word, which he spoke. 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Benjamin, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Psalm chapter 6, verse 2. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am faint. Lord, heal me, for my bones are troubled. Psalm chapter 30, verse 2. The Lord my God, I cry to you, and you have healed me. Psalm chapter 41, verses 2 through 4. The Lord will preserve him, Benjamin, and keep him alive. He shall be blessed on the earth, and he will not surrender him to the will of his enemies. The Lord will sustain him on his sickbed and restore him from his bed of illness. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. Psalm chapter 103, verses 2 through 4. Praise the Lord, my soul. And don't forget all his benefits, Benjamin, who forgives all your sins, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Psalm chapter 107, verse 20. Benjamin, he sends his word and heals them and delivers them from their graves. Psalm chapter 147, verse 3. He heals the broken in heart and binds up their wounds. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 7 through 8. Don't be wise in your own eyes, Benjamin. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Benjamin, it will be health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 through 22. Benjamin, attend to my words. Turn your ear to my sayings. Let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the center of your heart, for they are life to those who find them, and health to their whole body. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when longing is fulfilled, Benjamin, it is a tree of life. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 17. A wicked messenger falls into trouble, but a trustworthy envoy gains healing. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 30. The light of the eyes rejoices the heart. Good news, Benjamin, gives health to the bones. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 24. Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and health to the bones. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. Benjamin, a cheerful heart makes good medicine but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 14. A man's spirit will sustain him in sickness, but a crushed spirit, Benjamin, who can bear? Isaiah chapter 53, verses 4 through 5. Surely he has borne our sickness and carried our suffering, yet we considered him plagued, struck by God, and afflicted, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought our peace was on him, 
and Benjamin, by his wounds we are healed. Isaiah chapter 57, verses 18 through 19. I have seen his ways and will heal him. I will lead him also and restore comforts to him and to his mourners. I create the fruit of the lips, peace, peace to him who is far off and to him who is near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 8. Benjamin, then your light will break out as the morning, and your healing will appear quickly. Then your righteousness shall go before you, and the Lord's glory will be your rear guard. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved, for you are my praise. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. For I will restore health to you, and I will heal you, Benjamin, of your wounds, says the Lord, because they have called you an outcast, saying, It is Zion, whom no man seeks after. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 6. Behold, I will bring in health and healing, and I will cure them, and I will reveal to them abundance of peace and truth. Hosea chapter 14, verse 4. Benjamin, I will heal their waywardness. I will love them freely, for my anger is turned away from them. Malachi chapter 4, verse 2. But to you who fear my name shall the sun of righteousness arise with healings in its wings. Benjamin, you will go out and leap like calves of the stall. Matthew chapter 4, verses 23 through 24. Jesus went about in all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every sickness among the people. The report about him went out into all Syria. They brought to him all who were sick, Benjamin, afflicted with various diseases and torments, possessed with demons, epileptics, and paralytics, and he healed them. Matthew chapter 8, verses 7 through 8. Benjamin, Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered, Lord, I'm not worthy for you to come under my roof. Just say the word, and my servant will be healed. Matthew chapter 8, verse 13. Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way. Let it be done for you as you have believed. Benjamin, his servant, was healed in that hour. Matthew chapter 8, verses 16 through 17. When evening came, they brought to him many possessed with demons. He cast out the spirits with a word, and healed all who were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken through Isaiah the prophet, saying, He took our infirmities and bore our diseases. Matthew chapter 9, verse 12. Benjamin, when Jesus heard it, he said to them, Those who are healthy have no need for a physician, but those who are sick do. Matthew chapter 9, verse 35. Jesus went about all the cities and the villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every sickness among the people. Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. He called to himself his twelve disciples and gave them authority, Benjamin, over unclean spirits, to cast them out, and to heal every disease and every sickness. Matthew chapter 10, verses 7 through 8. As you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, and cast out demons. Freely you received, Benjamin, so freely give. Matthew chapter 12, verses 14 through 15. But the Pharisees went out and conspired against him, how they might destroy him. Jesus, perceiving that, withdrew from there. Great multitudes followed him, Benjamin, and he healed them all. Matthew chapter 12, verse 22. Then one possessed by a demon, blind and mute, was brought to him, and he healed him, so that the blind and mute man both spoke and saw. Matthew chapter 14, verse 14. Jesus went out and saw a great multitude, Benjamin, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. 
Matthew chapter 15, verse 28. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Be it done to you even as you desire. And Benjamin, her daughter, was healed from that hour. Matthew chapter 15, verses 30 through 31. Great multitudes came to him, having with them the lame, blind, mute, maimed, and many others, Benjamin, and they put them down at his feet. He healed them, so that the multitude wondered when they saw the mute speaking, the injured healed, the lame walking, and the blind seeing, and they glorified the God of Israel. Mark chapter 5, verse 34. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be cured of your disease. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim release to the captives, recovering of sight to the blind, to deliver those who are crushed. Luke chapter 4, verse 40. Benjamin, when the sun was setting, all those who had any sick with various diseases brought them to him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Luke chapter 5, verse 15. But the report concerning him, Benjamin, spread much more and great multitudes came together to hear and to be healed by him of their infirmities. Luke chapter 6, verse 19. All the multitudes sought to touch him, for power came out of him and healed them all. Luke chapter 7, verse 7. Therefore, I didn't even think myself worthy to come to you, but say the word, and my servant will be healed. Luke chapter 8, verse 36. Those who saw it, Benjamin, told them how he, who had been possessed by demons, was healed. Luke chapter 8, verse 47. When the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling, and falling down before him, declared to him in the presence of all the people the reason why she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. Luke chapter 8, verses 49 through 50. While he still spoke, one from the ruler of the synagogue's house came, saying to him, Your daughter is dead. Don't trouble the teacher. But Jesus, hearing it, Benjamin, answered him, Don't be afraid. Only believe, and she will be healed. Luke chapter 9, verse 11. But the multitudes, perceiving it, followed him. He welcomed them, spoke to them of God's kingdom, and he cured those who needed healing. Luke chapter 9, verse 42. While he was still coming, the demon threw him down and convulsed him violently. But Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, Benjamin, healed the boy, and gave him back to his father. Luke chapter 10, verse 9. Benjamin, heal the sick who are there and tell them, God's kingdom has come near to you. Luke chapter 17, verse 15. One of them, Benjamin, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, glorifying God with a loud voice. Luke chapter 17, verse 19. Then he said to him, Get up and go your way. Your faith has healed you. Luke chapter 18, verse 42. Jesus said to him, Receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. Luke chapter 22, verse 51. But Jesus answered, Let me at least do this. And Benjamin, he touched his ear and healed him. Acts chapter 5, verse 16. The multitude also came together from the cities around Jerusalem, bringing sick people and those who were tormented by unclean spirits, and they were all healed. Acts chapter 8, verse 7. For unclean spirits came out of many of those who had them. They came out crying with a loud voice. Many who had been paralyzed and lame Benjamin were healed. Acts chapter 9, verses 33 through 34. There he found a certain man named Aeneas, who had been bedridden for eight years because he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. 
Immediately he arose, Benjamin. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all those who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Acts chapter 28, verse 8. The father of Publius lay sick of fever and dysentery. Paul entered into him, prayed, and laying his hands on him, healed him. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 8 through 9. Benjamin, for to one is given through the Spirit the word of wisdom, and to another the word of knowledge according to the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, and to another gifts of healings by the same Spirit. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 13. And make straight paths for your feet, so what is lame, Benjamin, may not be dislocated, but rather be healed. James chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. Is any among you sick, Benjamin? Let him call for the elders of the assembly, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will heal him who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. If he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Benjamin, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The insistent prayer of a righteous person is powerfully effective. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we, Benjamin, having died to sins, might live to righteousness. Benjamin, you were healed by his wounds. 3 John chapter 1, verse 2. Benjamin, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be healthy even as your soul prospers.